Hi, I'm Alden. And I'm Calden. Of course, you know we're good twin, bad twin. Right, and we're here in Jackson, Mississippi at the Thyromara Hall, the renowned national Thyromara Hall. That's right, so Alden, why are we at the Thyromara Hall? We got some Mississippi's finest, one of our very own, David Banner. That's, That's right, right, David Banner. We're coming to have a conversation with David Banner. But before we had a conversation with David Banner, we're going to get a chance to sit down and enjoy him and speak and listen to him speak because he's doing a lecture series called the, the God Box. The God Box. That's right, the God Box. The God Box. And it, 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 it highlights some of his points that he wants to bring out on his album. So check out that album. Right. The God Box. For perspective now, it ain't the old Dave Banner like me, yeah, Chris yeah. Brown, you know what I'm saying? It ain't that one. It's a new, it's new, new David new, Banner, new so Dave check him out. It's hot. And he yeah. has a single out now called Marry Me. So stick around and come on in and join with us, all right? question about God Box, okay? How did you make the how did you make the transition from going with the you know like me now, Chris Brown, number one CD, God Box. You know, God Box. Because you talked about purpose and flow. You always Oh I get it! <laughs> Y'all twins! Oh that's dope in two cameras in Okay, I good twin back. Alright, I'm sorry. Uh -oh. <laughs> nah. Alright, I'll tell y'all what happened. Um you always talking about purpose. Yeah. You found your purpose. Well, what, what's funny is people never notice. I've always really been talking about the same thing. It was just that I was drunk and I was mad before. Like, cause if you go back, I did like a pimp, and even on like a pimp, um, if you turn off all the music in like a pimp and just look at the video, we ran the Ku Klux Klan out of Mississippi. We pushed over the burning cross. They had nooses in the back. I ripped up the Confederate flag and it said, dun, 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 dun. And I threw the flag back. But didn't nobody see nothing but the asses dropping. <laughs> like literally, they was like, oh man, oh man, dog, look at the clan. Ooh, she fine as hell. And they forgot about that. Then my next single was Cadillac on 22. God, I know that we pimp. God, I know that we wrong. God, I know I should talk about more in all of my songs. I know these kids are listening. I know I'm here for a mission, but it's so hard to get them 22 inch rims like this. I've been talking the same thing, but people don't really listen. So people think I bumped my head and became conscious because now I have my hair twisted up and I walk with my ass tight now. Like, hello, hi. I'm David Banner and I'm so smart. And I really get tired of that shit. I really be wanting to go, man, man, it's that, man. But the, it's, the only thing is now I'm a little bit more focused. You know. What are today's you? What would be the words you say? You know, to be able to get them to where we need to be. What was one of the most powerful things in today's presentation? I tell you what I think. What, what you love? think? I tell you what you thought. You I, said love. What? I thought it was the five points at the end. Okay. You know what I thought it was? You get a hundred dollars for asking a question. Okay. 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 That was, Kids that, that don't was care nothing. Oh yeah, that, that five stuff. High. Man, I might not live tomorrow, but Dave Barrett just gave a hundred dollars for a question. Yeah. I'm about to go read a damn book. Where you get the hundred dollars from? See, the thing about kids that they won't talk about, kids don't really want to sell dope, but at the end of the dope, with dope, you they see what happens. I can get the girls, I can get the money. I see my cousin with the college, but that's not promise. He back on the block too. So it's like people lie all the time telling these kids not to sell drugs, but you don't give them nothing else. You tell these kids not to sell drugs, but you don't give them nowhere to play. You closing up the boys clubs and all the YMCAs. Ain't no more bands in school. You know what I'm saying? So like for me, I try to show kids, knowledge is money. The reason why I'm able to hold these people captive is because I know something. That's what I'm trying to show these children. Like, money is in what you know, in my estimation. It is, it is. We want to thank you, uh -huh. thank you for what you're doing for Mississippi, thank what you. you did for the Boys and Girls Club, thank and you. what you did with this. All right, can I tell y'all one thank thing? Look at all the cameras. If anything ever happened to me and somebody killed me, fuck peace. Tear this motherfucker up. <laughs> And I mean that, kids. There's some kids out here. I mean that. So y'all won't get it all messed up. Well, David Banner probably wanted peace. That's a lie. David Banner, if they do something to me, get them back. Um, 
concrete actions is for me, stop talking about what other people should do. Show me. Like everybody always tell me what I should do. It's so funny, I always laugh at people. People be like, what you done done for the hood, David Banner? And I'd be like, dog, you sell crack. <laughs> why does it matter what I do? Like, why does it matter to you? You show a dog, you don't never do nothing. Well, what are you doing? Well, I gave turkeys. But you just killed 17 families and you gave a turkey, that's it? You be the example. You feel me? Everybody always talking about what I should do. Show me what you've done. Maybe I just don't know any better. Educate me. I think, the, if, I think if everybody, this is why I tell everybody, everybody want to know my religion. Everybody want to know my plan. Everybody wants me to lead them. The only thing I'm trying to show people with the God box is that you are God. The most concrete thing is we, everybody in Jackson would be all right if we would just take care of ourselves. If I did me, you did you, no matter what we do. We're not judging nobody. If they slanging, if, if they building, if they rapping, whatever they may end up doing, if we all just took care of each other, or we just took care of the person right next to us, we could change the whole city. That was the, reason, that was the main reason why I was trying to get everybody to come in and sell something so we can show commerce today. So we can stop talking and telling these kids, you should go to school. Nah, I'm going to show you how to produce something. I produce these t-shirts, and I produce them in Jackson. Who, who press up my t-shirt? Yeah, I am. Uh, it's one of It's one of the people. Yeah, yeah, of course, Link. It's one of the people. Right here. And then he makes them up, and then I sell them. And that's what I really want to show people. The other thing that I'm going to do, y'all, it has nothing else with, do, with nothing else. Is I'm about, the next thing I'm going to buy is a farm. We in Mississippi, and we don't even teach our kids about farming. Like, we, 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 we are leaving our food up to the same people who, who left lead in the water. The same people that put smallpox in the blankets of Native, Native Americans. Tuskegee, you think these people care about your food? You think these people care about when, when they uh, uh, giving inoculations to your children, you think they putting something good in it? We better start taking care of ourselves. Next interview, I really want to go to free lunch. Thank, thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you. <laughs>because I'm fresh. I do dope shit. <laughs> now I heard Kanye say that. Kanye said, my life is dope, and I do dope shit. You say that. Um, this is what I want to tell people in Mississippi is this. I didn't get an opportunity to say, actually, uh, my homeboy Elwood got on me because I got so emotional tonight. I didn't actually do half of uh, my presentation because I was so emotional. But one of the things I did want to talk about, and I want Mississippi to know, is this. This fucking Confederate flag. A public flag that has to do with a state or a city is a conglomerate effort of everybody in that city, in that state, right? It's the culture of all people. See, I used to shit on the American, I mean, not the American flag, but that too, but the Confederate flag, I used to burn it and piss on it and all that kind of stuff. I don't do that no more. That's disrespectful to their culture, okay? That's your culture, but it's not mine. I want you to watch this. What was the Civil War fought over? Slavery, that's all it was fought over, nothing more than slavery. Do we agree on that, right? So by any turn of the measure, let's say that the Confederate Army would have won the war. Nine times out of 10, what would black people still be? Slave. Slave. So you think I give a fuck about your flag? So that is white supremacy, because all you care about is your culture. Even though Jackson, Mississippi, and Mississippi as a whole, is teetering close to being half black. So we can't even have half of the flag? Can you put like a Black Panther's ass on this side? <laughs> then the Confederate flag on that side? At least we the ass. Take your flag and put it on your ass, on your boxes, and put it on your fucking raggedy ass truck and take it to wherever you from. That is not our flag and it is not even fair. To everybody else in that state, you're being selfish, and it is not about the people. So until black people start taking it that serious, when you take the Confederate flag so serious that you see slaves in it, when you see the red in that flag, you see the blood of dead slaves, 
stuff is, when it starts mattering, we always talking peace. That's what this album is about. I'm tired of peace. I don't want your hope. I don't want your peace. I'm sick of Obama talking about peace. I want something to be done for my people, and that's it. Um, um, what's your boy name? Um, Killer Mike with um, Bernie, 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 Bernie Sanders. Sanders. Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders came in. Uh, his people asked me if they if I could be a part of their candidates. I mean, uh, 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 the election on behalf of them. I told him this. Out of all the people, I support you. But I don't care who it is, white, black, woman, male, alien. You can be an atheist. If you're doing for black people, I support you as long as you're doing for black people. Do you want to know something? And then I'm going to do, the, do a little bit more of this interview. Does, does an architect need hope? No. You want to know why? Because architects have a fucking plan. Black folks got to start knowing what they want from our officials. That's why they always have us on this church like hope. Because hope ain't never coming. Hope ain't going to come until you demand it. Until you go and get it. Um, the Americans didn't wait on, 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 um, um, for, for, for Britain to get them love. They started a fucking war. They didn't ask the Native Americans, can we please come on your land? They killed the Native Americans. So they give you religion and peace and hope because they don't want you to do the same thing that they did to you. They didn't hope that you would do work for them. They beat your ass and they hung you and they made you do it. So that flag ain't gonna come down, Mississippi ain't gonna change until black people live and die for liberation. It'll never change. I'm David Banner, and uh, I'd like to thank you. <laughs> this is Late Night Jackson. I'm about to go to free lines and totally renege all this positive stuff that I just said. Y'all might see me tonight say, I'm streaking down the quad. Again, this is David Banner. I love you. Good night. <laughs> no, thank you, brother. I appreciate you, man. Somebody else talk about y'all knock they face off. I ain't talking about you, Raggedy Baby. Don't jump on me. I see you got ready. You was like, shit, I like you, David Bella, but, 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 but the fact is this. I'm going to prove to you all right now that that's not true, all right? And you may have heard me say this before. Isn't the central processing unit of a computer based on the human brain? Yes or no? Central processing unit, right? So I told y'all, or I told y'all before, that culture is about language, history, family, and all of these things, right? So let's say if a computer programmer erased all of the history off a of central processing unit, right? <clears throat> then they uploaded a virus, right? When the computer started freaking out, would you blame the central processing unit or the programmer? Program. Africans did not come over here as niggas. That was a program. We have been programmed. Black folks don't even know why they hate themselves the way that they do. Mm. They hate themselves because they've been programmed to want to be a white person. And white people disdain the fact that they can't grow their hair like you. And in actuality, what people don't know, I'm going to tell you something about white folks you may not know. White folks really hate you, not so much, well, they are racist, but <laughs> for the most part, some white people, a lot of them, hate you because it's survival. You are the dominant gene. If black people keep having sex at the rate that they do, they will annihilate everybody else in the population because you are the dominant gene. If you put a black and a white person together, you're gonna to have a black child. You are killing them just by existing. So I mean saying that, black people have to learn to love each other. If you want to find more love, come to Free Lines tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Alcohol is all on David Banner. They say I'll never give back. So I'm giving back a whole bunch of alcohol tonight. Yeah. And I'm sorry, and I mean you all this positive stuff that I'm saying tonight, but we turning up. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we can. Last interview, and then we got to go. Brad Franklin still here with us uh, as we get ready, before we get ready to close out. Brad, tell them again who you are. 
I am the, uh, the marketing specialist for the city of Jackson, the Department of Human and Cultural Services, and I do booking and planning for Thai Mara. That's what's up. And yeah. the reason why we wanted to talk to you is just to say thank you for letting us come out, man, and be able to talk no, to it, you. It, it was my pleasure, man. I'm just walking through here, man, just looking at the energy in the lobby out here, and uh, thank you all for coming. And uh, I mean, it was, it, was, it was a great opportunity for us to have Banner here. We're going to try to do more stuff like this with the city of Jackson and, and have the city involved in a lot more entertainment ventures like this and speaking engagement. So, you know, you guys just keep coming out to your time, our hall, man. Keep supporting. That's all we want you to do. Kudos to the success that you guys are having. Right Thank you, man. And all the revenue over the time few years, the turnaround that you, you've done to the place. It speaks a lot because this is a, a it goes well, this beyond is, this Jackson. Is a, this, is a, this is a city building. So the revenue that we get from this building goes directly back into the city. So this city belongs to the people. And, uh, you know, the staff over here has worked very hard to turn things around. And we want people to be able to see that there is something successful going on in the city of Jackson. You know, with all the negatives that you think are there, there's something successful going on. This building is working, and we are turning this city into the entertainment capital of Mississippi. So if you want to see a show, you want to be entertained, this is the place where you need to be. It, uh, international events are held here. International events. We're getting ready to have the, the international ballet competition that we have here every four years. Uh, you know, we have this event. We've got floor tree coming. We have Robert Plant from Led Zeppelin and the Honey Drippers is going to be here tomorrow night. Uh, one of the things that almost held up this event tonight is because, you know, such a big event, you know, we try not to have them that close together, but we try to go you know, not to go an entire week with this building being dark. And that was, you know, one of the things that we said when I got here, and that's one of the things we've tried to maintain, that we have something every weekend, every week, and we want to be able to create a scene, not just on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, but on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday as well. You know, and even on Sunday, we had Paul Porter in here last Sunday, uh, had a fantastic crowd. So we want somebody in here every night. If it's up to me, we'll have somebody in here every night. It might not be logistically uh, possible, because of our backstage crew and they're working so hard, but you know we want to try to have somebody in here every day, man. And the more people we have in here, that's the more money that we make for the city. Right? And thanks for being a, 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 an ambassador for the city using this this facility, man. I, I, and I'm, supporting us too, man. Thank oh, you. Oh man, you know what I'm saying we go back way, you know, we go way way back. We won't say how far back, but we go, <laughs> we go way back. You know what I'm saying? All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we like to thank you for having us to come out. Another. A viral video, man. Another, another viral video. Another good twin, bad twin special. And you can still hear David Banner in the back on his thing. So we, we're going to go and check out some more of the day. <laughs>